Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and we're on the firing range up at Tizzy at the moment. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how to improve your accuracy, your aim accuracy on PC and console by looking at and adjusting your uh, sensitivity um, and DPI on controller and on mouse uh, and keyboard. So what you're seeing here, this is Daisy PC, and there was a really cool um, discussion on the Daisy podcast about um, the way that th uh, shooting and, and vests work uh, the other day and the, the, the subject came up and I thought I've never done a video about that I've done a big videos about this for lots of other games for Call of Duty and Battlefield you know controller sensitivity settings and things like that but never for Daisy because I'm not much of a PvPer but there's some some real solid basics you can look at that will vastly improve your accuracy and the most common mistake people make um, with mouse and keyboard and with controller is having the sensitivity too high. So what I mean is this. So let's say you're, you're aiming at someone. So set, let's see these targets of people. And I'm aiming at that, that person. Right. And then I want to uh, aim at... You know, I've shot him and I want to shoot the guy next to him. And the most common thing people have, problem I have is they, they go to aim for the next guy and they adjust too far like this. Um... So you're aiming for that guy, and you try and get to the middle. Even there, I'm trying to get to the middle guy, and I can't. And this even happens with scopes as well. Well, especially with scopes. So, you know, you you've got two guys you're aiming at, and then you want to go from the that guy to the middle guy. But and then what happens is, say we ho even if we hold our breath, and we go too far. See, we're, we're off the we're off his centre of mass, and that's all to do with the sensitivity. Of your mouse and also the DPI as well and also the sensitivity of your controller um, because basically all that's happening is you're just over correcting um, and all you need to do is turn down your sensitivity turn down your DPI on your mouse and your controller and you'll find you'll get onto target a lot better so the kite the way it kind of works is if you find yourself when you're trying to get on target say you're aiming over here then you see someone there if you find yourself over correcting so you're missing your target um, and you have to correct back to it um, that's because your sensitivity is too high if it was a situation where you were say um, aiming and trying to snap onto a target and weren't getting there then your sensitivity is too low so let's have a look at some of the ways that, that you can adjust this um, now on PC um, <laughs> A, a real kind of uh, problem is these things. Now I use one of these as well. So this is a nice little mouse mat with a nice little wrist support that keeps your wrist nice and uh, soft and so you can PC for a long time. You can uh, go on your PC for a long time. But the problem with this is that it really restricts the movement of your mouse because what we want to do is we want to use the um, uh, software that came with our mouse or you can go into the window setting and turn down the DPI and this is in effect turning down the sensitivity so this is my steel series mouse as you can see I'm very lucky it has this button on it which means that I can switch between two sensitivities and my accurate setting is at 800 DPI and when I have that activated the mouse moves really really slow which is rubbish when I'm trying to do stuff on the desktop because I've got to move the mouse a long way but it makes you very, very accurate. Then I have a 1600 DPI one. So that's when I'm working on the desktop. And I can use a little mouse pad. And I can flick my mouse across you know, the desktop to, to, to do stuff. But when I'm playing games, it needs to be down here at 800. Um, and what goes with that as well is the fact that you've, you've got to move away from a really small mouse pad. Um, you, know, you want to move towards something like this. When you watch sort of... Um, good gamers <laughs> online or professional gamers um, you find they have massive mouse mats or they don't even have their, their mat is basically their whole desk and they're moving the mouse an awful long way so they're not just flicking it with their wrist they're using their whole forearm to the mouse move the mouse around and that's what gives them such good aim because the more you have to move the mouse the more accurate you can be and it stops you over correcting so let's go back to Daisy now. Um, so if I'm just turning normally, that's here we go. That's my um, slow movement, and that's the faster one. So let's put it on slow. Let's aim down sight again. So let's try and 
let me just show you the difference so that's on the low sensitivity and that's on the high sensitivity so if we go to low sensitivity and i'm aiming at this guy and i want to aim at the middle guy let's hold our breath and we can just we can just in fact i didn't do it move far enough that i just move it across and i'm much more likely to be in the center of mass and I'm much less likely to overcorrect. And I always think it's easier to correct in the direction you should be going than it is to, to reverse the direction. Um, and then if we went with something like the shotgun, and we were soft aiming, sort of like this, get okay, aim at this guy, we want to aim at the next guy, it's much easier. Or let's say we're aiming over here, and we want to aim on the first guy, it's much easier to, to move it back, because we're not spinning all over the place with a high dpi now in daisy as well in the settings if you go to options um, controls you've got sensitivity sensitivity here as well so you've got sensitivity for camera horizontal and vertical so this is where you're kind of looking around in um, and you're not aiming down sight and then you can reduce the sensitivity so when you aim down sight now when you do this you have to use something called centering as well which is quite important so what centering is is i've got my crosshair turned on at the moment so you can see it in the middle of the screen centering means you should always try and keep uh, the center of the screen where the next enemy should be so um in fact, let's go let's go over here so let's say we were coming up here and i thought there might be an enemy hiding behind here all right so what i would try and do is as i'm approaching this area i should always keep the center of the screen where I think the enemy might be. And the idea is that is that when I aim down sight, the gun will be pointing in the right direction without me having to adjust. Rather than kind of bimbling up, say, this way, and then having to you know aim down sight and then make this massive adjustment. So, so think about that as well. Now, on console, uh, for our controllers, um, most of the time when you're adjusting sensitivity, it's in-game. Um, so... If you bring up the options in this is on xbox and you go to the control section see we've got loads of things to play around with we've got the camera virtual camera horizontal camera camera curvature it's easy for me to say um and th this affects how um the rate of movement of your mouse your virtual mouse on your controller um changes over time um, and then we've got vertical horizontal and then aiming curvature often it's called a response curve in in other games um, and you can play around with these what i would say is that if you're having trouble with your accuracy turn everything down you know turn turn all of your sensitivities down and then work them up and i guess the final thing i'd, I'd say is that when you are playing daisy um let's get back to daisy where is it um and you do change your sensitivity whether that be your dpi and or the sensitivity in the game just bear in mind that it's going to take you you a while to get used to that you know to build up the muscle memory in your in your hand and your wrist or in your thumbs for a controller to, to for that to set in so don't try and chase sensitivity so when you reduce your sensitivity or D dpi keep it like that for a couple of weeks and then maybe after that time you might go actually i could probably do with turning up a bit maybe i need to turn it down a little bit more and then make that adjustment and then keep that for a couple of weeks as well don't think oh i just had a bad game i need to change my sensitivity because it isn't really the sensitivity that's the problem if you've got it low enough it's really the fact that you're not accurate enough um actually there is another thing i want to talk about as well and that is you can go online and you can buy things as well which are aim trainers um, now i don't know which ones are the best ones i used one ages ago once when i decided to try and move to mouse and keyboard um, but i've kind of given up now on the mouse and keyboard when it comes to shooters um, i'm too old i can't do it i have to use a controller i can use mouse and keyboard for day z no problem because it's kind of pvp isn't it uh, pve sorry um, but when it comes to things like PUBG or Call of Duty or Battlefield, I have to use a I have to use a controller. But if you want to get better with mouse and keyboard in terms of accuracy, then maybe try out one of these ones things. And that basically they're just running training routines where you're moving your mouse around the screen and um, and clicking on things. And with these especially, it's very important you don't mess around with sensitivity too much because you want to build in that muscle memory. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully you found this video useful and interesting. And honestly, if you're having trouble with accuracy, go into your DPI for your mouse, turn down the DPI, and or go into the sensitivity uh, settings in DAISY and turn those down, and you will be very surprised 
about what you can achieve. Okay, that's enough from me. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.